Does having frequent sex actually protect men from having prostate cancer or is it just a myth? Well, today in this video, we are going to look at some data what research actually has to say about this. But first things first, let's take a look at what the prostate is. Now, the prostate is a, is a walnut shaped gland that is located underneath your bladder surrounding parts of your urethra. Now, the urethra is just like a tube, it's like a hose that carries urine and semen out of the penis. And then one of the functions of the prostate is actually to produce the seminal fluid which nourishes and transports semen. Now basically everyone's goal in life is actually to, to live a long life. But living a long life also comes with a price. And one of these prizes is that you could develop prostate issue. You could have prostate cancer. You could develop an enlarged prostate also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. So this idea that frequencies can protect men from having prostate cancer or an enlarged prostate has actually been there for years. So let's take a look at some of the studies behind this. So let's take a look at this first study. It's a longitudinal study that was published in the Journal of American Medical Association where they collected this data from 29,342 Americans aged 46 to 81. Okay, so these individuals reported their monthly ejaculation frequency including sexual intercourse, masturbation and nocturial emission. Okay. Now what they did was that they collected this data for two years until the study's conclusion period, which is eight years. It's a longitudinal study. And the result of this study was absolutely mind-blowing. They found that men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month have a whooping 31% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men that reported four to seven ejaculations per month across their lifetime. Okay. Now in another study which we are going to look after, this study was actually done in Australia where they evaluated the impact of sexual factor on the occurrence of prostate cancer before the age of 70, okay? Interestingly, just like the first study, men who average 4 to 7 ejaculation per week were 36% less likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer before they reach the age of 70 than men who ejaculated less than 2.3 times per week on average, okay? Now, this ejaculation may actually induce this protective effect on the prostate through a variety of different mechanisms that may involve the flushing out of those carcinogenic chemicals. Carcinogens are compounds that can cause cancer, okay? So, ejaculation may actually involve the flushing out of those carcinogenic compounds that are retained in the prostate as well as preventing the accumulation of prosthetic particles, prosthetic crystal in the prosthetic dots, okay? Now, so essentially, this idea that frequencies can prevent prostate cancer or an enlarged prostate is actually not a myth, okay? It is true. Also, it is not a magic bullet. It is just one piece of a puzzle when it comes to maintaining prostate health, all right? So guys, I hope you take care of your prostate health and then if you are really looking for a way to shrink your enlarged prostate, I recommend you check out this video here.